Hey guys, today we're going to solve some questions that are based on formulas. So before we continue this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Now, here is the first question. 103 times 97. So how could you write 103? We can write it as 100 plus 3. Then times. So how can you write 97? We can write 97 as 100 minus 3. This expression, what formula do you think of? So normally people should be thinking of a square minus b square because a square minus b square equals a plus b times a minus b. So now here in this formula and in this expression over here, a is equal to 100, b is equal to 3. So now just solve it. So here. So here it would be 100 squared minus 3 squared. So now, now we just got to solve. So 100 squared is going to be 10,000. So 10,000 minus, so that 3 squared is going to be 9. And then when we subtract that, we would get 9,991. And so that's going to be our answer. So this question was pretty easy. So now let's move on to a bit harder one, but not too hard. So this one is 103 times 103. We write 103 times 103. We can just write it as 103 whole square. Now, how can you write 103? Again, we can write it as 100 plus 3. And don't forget the whole square. Now, again, what formula do we think of? So, what formula can be used to solve 100 plus 3 whole square? Well, the formula to solve 100 plus 3 whole square is just going to be a plus b whole square equals a square plus b square plus 2ab. Okay. So now to solve. So 100 plus 3 whole square is just going to equal 100 square plus 3 square plus 2 times 100 times 3. Let me write my 3 a bit better. Okay, there. Now we just got to solve it. So 100 squared is just going to be 10,000. Right? Okay. Now 3 squared is going to be 9 plus. Now 2 times 100 times 3 is just going to be a 600. And now we just got to add. And when we add, we would get 10,000. 609. And that's our answer. So now let's move on to the third question. Okay, so here is my third question, and it is 97 whole square. So again, for these types of questions, you would basically just do 97 times 97. A simple way. But now, we're going to get a simple and faster way. So again, 97 can be written as 100 minus 3. Then it's going to be a whole square. Formula do we normally think of when we see this expression? So I would say that we should be thinking of a minus b. So a minus b whole Square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab. So here again, a is going to be 100. b is going to be 3. So now here, it's going to be 100 square plus 3 square minus 2 times 100 times 3. 
So now to just solve it. So again, 100 squared is just going to be 10,000. Then 3 squared is going to be 9. Then 2 times 100 times 3 is just going to be 600. Now we're going to follow the op order of operations. And um, when we follow order of operations, or as we call it, the three O's, we would first do addition and then subtraction because now in this expression, we always go left to right. And now what's first left is a thousand, I mean 10,000 plus nine. So now when we add that, we would just get 10,009. Then minus 600. And then when we subtract that, we should be getting 9,409. Okay, so that is the answer for the third question. Okay, now let's go to the fourth one. So here it's with decimals. So this is going to be a little bit more different and a bit more difficult. Okay, so first, let's see. We can write 0 0.99, then we can say plus 0 0.01. And if we add like 0 0.01, we would just get 1. So, now how can we write 0 0.99 in a simpler way? We could just say 1 minus 0 0.01. I mean, that does equal 0 0.99, so it does work. Um, yeah. So now again, what formula do we normally think of? So again here for this formula, it would probably be a minus b whole square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab. So now, again here, A is just going to equal 1, B is just going to equal 0 0.01, and now let's solve. Okay, so here's going to be 1 square plus 0 0.01 square minus 2 times 1 times 0 0.01. Okay, so now let's just solve. So 1 squared, well, that's just going to be 1, then plus. 0 0.01 squared is just going to be 0 0.0001. Then now 2 times 1 times 0 0.01 is just going to be 0 0.02. So again, if we use order of operations, we need to go left to right, right? So first we're going to add. 1 plus 0 0.0001, and that's going to equal 1.0001 minus 0 0.02, and then when we subtract, we are going to be getting 0 0.9801. So now that is going to be our answer. Now we go on to the last question. 0 0.54 times 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 times 0 0.46. So we can write that as 0 0.54 whole square minus 0 0.46 whole square. So here it's safe to get the parentheses out of the way. There. So now. What formula does this make you think of? So again, I think this would make me think of a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. There. So now here, again, a is equal to 0 0.54, b is equal to 0 0.46. So now, 
it's going to be 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 times 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46. There. Um, okay, so now we just got to add and subtract. So 0 0.54 plus 0 0.46 is just going to be 1. And then times 0 0.54 minus 0 0.46 is going to be 0 0.08. So here we subtracted and then here we added. Now 1 times 0 0.08 is just going to be 0 0.08. And that's our answer. So that's it for today's video. So I know all these questions seemed pretty simple, but in the future, there will be harder questions that we will teach you guys how to solve. So now before we all go off, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.